Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney Marie. If you're new here, welcome. Lovely to have you. Today's video is going to be a quick little one. We are going to be testing out some new lip glosses from Emco Beauty. This is a collaboration with Sophie Monk. There are three colours. There was a lip liner, but I don't really wear lip liner, so I didn't pick that up. Uh, but we're going to be swatching these, trying them on on our lips, testing out the formula. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in, just keep on watching. So if you didn't know, Emco Beauty is an Australian beauty brand. You can buy it here in Woolworth stores or online as well. So this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be comparing these glosses to their original gloss formula. This was the first gloss that they released. And then also their newer gloss formula. This particular one is from the Just Peachy collection, but you can get the same formula in their everyday range. Now, looking at the packaging, the first thing that pops into my head is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. So we're also going to be comparing uh, that formula as well. Just before we dive in, I wanted to run through what's on my face today before I get any questions. So I have a little bit of the Peach Sherbet Cheap and Cheek and Lip Tint. I wear these every single day. This particular color is from the Just Peachy collection. I also have the Just Peachy blush on, just this particular side. I also have the Just Peachy highlighter, just this one here as my highlight for today. And for my eyeshadow, of course, I have the Just Peachy palette. So basically, I went in with this peach matte, this more orangey tone, and this dark one a little bit on the outer corner. And this is the gold shimmer on my lid. I do have a full dedicated video reviewing this collection. And if you want to pick up anything from that collection, I would hurry because as soon as they release something new, the um, past limited edition collections sort of phase out. So I do think you can still get some items on the Emco Beauty website. And if you're lucky, you'll find a couple things still in Woolworth stores. So usually they do reduce it as soon as the new collections come out. So if you want to take a risk, you can gamble and try and get it on sale. But these are affordable beauty products anyway. And Emco Beauty is one of my favorite brands. But in saying that, all opinions are my own. I'm not biased at all. And I'll give you my full opinion in this video. If these glosses suck, I'm going to tell you that they suck. But if they're beautiful, then money well spent. So let's dive in. So these are the Pout Gloss Ultra Shine Lip Glosses by Sophie Monk. Limited edition. Delivers a fuller pout. Offers instant shine. Long wearing gloss. We have the shades Tickle, Wanda, and Lullaby. So let's open them up, starting with Tickle. There is a little bit of information on the back. It says lip gloss should be a woman's everyday beauty essential. A curated kit of Sophie Monk's must-have gloss shades. Pout Gloss by Sophie Monk offers luxurious long-wearing shine while giving you the appearance of fuller lips. Comfortable, soft, and nourishing. Pout Gloss delivers a sheer tint of color and light reflecting radiance for a super polished, long-wearing finish that is free from dryness and flakiness. It's your everyday essential. Uh, available in three collectible shades. Sweet smelling, long wearing, delivers instant shine, enhances the appearance of lips and the, the directions says glide the gloss starting from the center of your upper lip from one corner to the other. I don't know how I apply gloss, but I'm just gonna apply it how I normally do. So let's open these up. So the packaging is really beautiful. So this is the shade Tickle. I'm just gonna open them up all at once. I literally realized as I pulled that unicarton open that I did not take photos of the packaging. So my Instagram is gonna suffer for that. But this is the shade Wonder. And we have the shade Lullaby. So just to compare the packaging to the Fenty, this is the Gloss Bomb Mini. So this is the Mini Fenty one. Um, so I don't know how big the full size one will be, but I'm assuming that it is like a similar size. So I'm gonna swatch these on the... All right, so opening up first impressions of the doe foot. This is definitely trying to replicate Fenty. Fenty has that 
ginormous doe foot as well. Um, yeah, this is definitely trying to replicate Fenty. Uh, so let's do some swatches. This is the shade Lullaby. That's what the color looks like. If these formula wise are similar to Fenty, then this is going to be an, an amazing product because I love the Fenty gloss, but I do not want to repurchase it. This is the shade Wonder. This is more pigmented than Lullaby. And then finally we have the shade Tickle, which seems to have sparkles in it. So I think this will probably be the closest to the gloss bomb. Yeah, so this is a very sheer color. Um, you can obviously build it up, but it's got more of like a sheen to it. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably apply this one first and work up to the darkest shade of gloss. Just for comparison, I want to swatch these. Uh, this is the original Emco Beauty gloss formula that came out with the Mermaid collection. I did say that this was an amazing gloss and it is because the sparkle is beautiful. It is quite a sticky gloss formula, but you're really, you know, wearing it for that sparkly payoff. And finally, we have the peachy gloss from the Just Peachy collection, which looks a little bit of a more thinner formula. It also smells like peach. I didn't really pick up on any scent. It has a slight artificial peachy kind of smell to it. So I'm going to take these off and then start applying the gloss. So the first one I'm going to apply is Tickle. And I'm just applying this on completely bare lips. So this is a really nice shine. It is a little bit of a thicker formula. So with this one particularly, because it's got the sparkles in it, um, what I would usually do is clean off the doe foot applicator. I do it with Fenty as well, just so that I'm not applying so much. And I'm just gonna dab the excess. So I'm getting a little bit of gathering in my corners of my mouth, but once I fix that, and dabbed it um it feels a lot more comfortable when i first applied it it was very much one of those like lipsticks lip glosses that like stick together but if you apply like less is more i think that i've got a beautiful healthy sheen to my lips they don't feel dry they don't feel sticky anymore it's comfortable i don't feel like i have anything on my lips so this is the shade tickle I think it's really beautiful, very beautiful. So I'm just gonna quickly swatch the Fenty Gloss Bomb next to Tickle, just for comparison. So Fenty definitely has more of a color to it, but they both are very sparkly and very Next, I'm going to be applying Lullaby to the lips. So with this one, what I'm gonna do is before I apply, I'm just going to scrape some of that excess and just go in with whatever's left on the doe foot. So this is the shade Lullaby. Obviously, 
I'm just going to come in close. This is what it looks like. If you went in with more, you could really build up that pigmentation. But as you can see, then you get that really like glossy effect. So it's completely up to you. I can't even really talk properly without that like super glossy effect. That is my dog Gizmo, if any of you are wondering. So I love to just dab off the excess. Just to make it a little bit less like goopy. And then I don't have any dramas with it. So this is the shade Lullaby. I think it looks really nice. I'm loving the formula. Uh, glosses are just hard to work with in general. Like you do get some glosses that are effortless. But even the Fenty gloss, um, people say this is like a miracle gloss. It's not sticky and it's not sticky at all. But it's still a gloss. You still have that like goopy shininess happening on your lips. Your hair sticks to it. Gloss is just a hard thing to do. And you have to be okay with a little bit of sticky, you know, if it's in the wind, your hair blows in, you have to be happy to deal with the consequences of just wearing a gloss, if you know what I mean. Obviously, gloss is much easier than lipstick. You don't really have to think about it. You just apply it. But then lipstick isn't as sticky and like wet as a gloss is either. So everything has its pros and cons in terms of formula. I'm really loving these. Um... I think they're so shiny, but they're also really comfortable. Just don't apply it too much. Like as soon as I dabbed off the excess of both of these colors, they are so comfortable and I can barely tell that they're on my lips in general, which goes a lot because I do have a lot of like really goopy lip glosses, for instance, and not to be shady to this brand or anything, but these shine glosses by Essence are very shiny but they're extremely goopy on the lips and you can barely get that effect of the shine because you have to like layer it on to get that shine and that is just way too... So the final color is Wonder. I think this might be my favorite. Yeah. So I went in with the lightest layer. I barely applied any product. And it just looks so healthy. My lips look so juicy and pink. This is my favorite color. So obviously, again, if you really built it up, like... You could get that pigment but then it becomes gloopy which I don't like so if you ever apply too much even if you don't want to use your fingers because you don't want them to get sticky I like to use these um, little makeup remover cloths rather than wet wipes and you just pop these in the wash after you're done so take your finger like this and just dab the excess off and then there you go you still have that beautiful shine your lips look healthy you've got that color but without that like gloopy gross gloss effect if you guys want me to do a video in the future about like my best um lip products because I don't really wear lipstick. I'm more of like a balm kind of person. I've got a dog hair somewhere. I can feel it. Gotcha. Uh, I'm more of like a balm kind of person. I like very hydrating things. I don't like my lips to feel like dried out. Um, and I have some lipsticks, some liquid lipsticks 
uh, that don't dry my lips out that I actually feel comfortable wearing. So I suffer from really, really bad cracked lips and I have to be hydrated. I can barely wear liquid lipstick ever, but I do have a few formulas that work for me. So if you guys want to see like an in-depth video about me talking about what lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liquid lipsticks, lip balms, I recommend all that jazz, do let me know in the comment section down below because I would be happy to do that for you. Um, my final thoughts on these glosses, I actually really like them. I think they're very comparable to Fenty. Um, obviously, they're not like that really shiny, wet look. They do have a little bit more pigment to them. Um, my favorite shade would be Wonder because it does have a more pinky tint. Uh, Lullaby has a more sort of peachy nude color to it. It is like slightly cool toned like a cool tone peach if that makes sense and then obviously tickle doesn't have much pigment to it so it just depends on what you want if you want like a wet look gloss I would go with tickle if you're more of a cool tone nude kind of person I would go with lullaby and if you like a little bit of like a pinky sort of look to your lips like plump pink shiny I would go with wonder um, I don't think you need all of them if you want all of them if you're a gloss girl then I think they're definitely worth the price. I didn't say what their price is. They're $6 each. So they retail for $6. MK Beauty does go on sale all the time there. So if you wait for them to be half off, then they'll be $3. Good math. So yeah, that is all my final thoughts for today's video. I really hoped you liked this video, something a little bit different, just really honing on it honing in on a particular product and giving you my sort of first impressions and my thoughts. Um yeah. I'm really happy with today's look. I'm very MCO Beauty, MCO Beautyed out. But yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye from Gizbo. Goodbye from me. I didn't say my dog's name right because I keep stuttering. Goodbye from Gizmo. Goodbye from me.